A major showdown brewing between the judiciary and the executive as the Chief Justice of India during a hearing on Monday took on the government for passing the Tribunals Bill 2021. Chief Justice N.V. Ramana in fact questioned the Solicitor General as to whether there were any reasons given at any point for the Ministry to have introduced the Tribunals Bill to the Parliament even though the Apex Court had clearly struck down the ordinance which had uh, laid down the same rules as the recently passed bill. In fact, the court has asked the government, is there any reasoning given by the ministry for introducing this bill? Why was this uh, bill passed and what was uh, debated, what, whether it was clearly even debated in the parliament? Chief Justice of India, Enri Ramana, showed his anger at the government during a hearing over a PIL that has raised the issue of non-appointment of members and chairpersons of various tribunals, from the Central Administrative Tribunal to the National Green Tribunal, Armed Forces Tribunal, CSTAT, NCLAT, NCLT, Debt Recovery Tribunals and several other tribunals in the country are at a position where they are nearly defunct because no appointments have been made and more than 50% of seats of the members and judges remain vacant. The Chief Justice in fact asked the Solicitor General why is it that appointments have not been made despite the fact that this issue has been in court for more than one and a half years and the, the court recently had given an entire list of vacancies in various tribunals and had also told the government that more than a hundred names have already been recommended to fill these positions. The court has multiple times over the last year expressed its disappointment and its exasperation at the fact that several tribunals remain defunct. And with this new bill, with this new act that has now been passed by the parliament, some of these tribunals have been closed down, prompting the court to question the Solicitor General. Can you at least tell us if you're going to continue the tribunals or you're going to burden the courts with more work? Interestingly, Congress leader Jairam Ramesh has also moved a PIL in the Supreme Court just this afternoon on the same issue, challenging the constitutional validity of the Tribunal's Bill 2021 and pointing out that the bill gives unprecedented power to the executive with regard to appointments, tenure and terms of service of the Tribunal members, which is not only unconstitutional but directly violates the purpose of having these tribunals which are expected to pass judgments on the work being done by the executive and should not be under so much executive control. The issue now is, will the government go ahead with appointments and what is going the judiciary going to do with regard to this act which was brought in to the parliament by the government?